Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Flame Knives. Uh, I apologize for the sudden end of the previous video and uh, everything got fucked up with the the recording quality. But basically, suffice it to say, everything's taken care of. We've uh, beaten the area and now we have to move on. Oh yeah, let me. I guess I'll unmute the fucking game if I have to, if I really must. And we'll get back to it. Um, what a disaster this is. I don't know if I have, uh, first of all, let me see if those tanks are still in place. It looks like they are not. But I don't know how I'm expected to breach the bunkers in any reasonable fashion. I guess I could, uh... I have to beware of mines. There was a zergling issue. I'm just assuming that I can, like, size storm the mines or something. Really? Where the fuck are the mines, then? Um, okay. Well, the one place I didn't size from. Well, we can really cheese this one and trial and error it. That's not too bad, I suppose. We should be able to clear clear out this uh, bottom bunker here, anyways. Can't borrow micro, by the way. Let's back up. I assume there's one here. Uh, I was wrong. So there's nothing over here? Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, they talked about the fact that there were six bunkers over there earlier. I forgot about that. And uh, also invulnerable tanks, lol. Okay, well. I don't know why we got the single zergling. But aside from these ghosts, which I guess would be really helpful in clearing out the bunkers after they were already down, there's really nothing here for us. Without those Ultralisks, or that single Ultralisk we have, I think we're kind of fucked here. I'm going to come down and around. And then Psy Storm uh, over here. Overall, a very uh, stupid mission. I don't know why we only got one Zergling, dude. That's all we need. One Zergling versus six bunkers and however many mines. My money's on there being a mine over here as well. Well, guess not, a little. We really want to keep these infested telepaths alive, though. So this kind of really blows. Guess we could try and soak up some damage with the, uh... The ghosts as well? There was a mine there! What the fuck? How did I miss that mine with a storm? I don't even get it. Holy shit, that's crazy. Whatever. I think it deal, I guess. Let's roll in here and kill this. be a big deal if we lose our fucking Kerrigan, though. What was it? Both of them? All the mines were over there or something? Over here? I don't know, dude. Whatever. I don't think we can use the, uh, the carrier. Why are the mines like... The mines are just randomized every time I reload, apparently. Jesus Christ. Good job. You wanna storm the thing that you can see, please? Oh, boy. 
Yes. All right, well, if the frame rate's still going down, I'll just cancel the recording and I'll make it out of the streams like I normally do. Where? Where could it be? You know there's still one there. Yes. Whatever. Back through the uh, little portal, here we go. Yeah, DF points out that my computer is probably just killing itself because of flame knives. It's weird that I didn't have that issue on uh, Warcraft 3, or maybe I did, and nobody pointed it out because everybody... You know, I, something I noticed when I was playing Halo Wars 2 and the frame rate was really choppy is people were just like, well, it's totally fine that I can't view your LP that you're trying to... Like, even though the viewing experience is completely worthless, this is totally reasonable. That really, uh, made me... Uh, that pulled some question marks for me. Like, nobody gave a shit. Um, let's see. I think it was over here. Attack. Great. Good thing I saved. Costly fucking mistake there. This is a really hard one to lay siege into, I think. Whatever. I didn't realize we could just outrange them like this. Easy, by the way. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Just one more bunker to go. I can't believe I can just do this, by the way. This seems pretty ridiculous. Do I also have to clear out all the mines or something? Including the mines. Good joke. Failed. We have no more forces to send. Can't handle music stacking on top of itself. Bye. Excellent work. Oh, good job. Recall after. <laughs> Excellent work, Metathrom. I am sure your father would be very proud of you. Why would he? Why would he type an emoji face as a transmission? Why? We shall now discover who is this damned traitor. 
Attention, Starnet Commander! Your base is surrounded by Protoss and Zerg warriors. Surrender, and we will spare your personnel. Surrender? Ha, you must be joking. Doesn't take a genius to figure out what kinds of torture you'd have for the one who delivered the Sun Crystal to your nemesis. No thanks. I prefer a quick, painless death. Destroy the complex at your will. What if it's just a Psy emitter? That's the, the big twist. It actually is a Psy emitter. Your dirty soul may be beyond redemption, but the lives of our, your brethren need not perish with you. Be a Kala at least once in your life. Be a Kala. I agree. Be a Kala, dude. Oh, Kala. So close to witnessing the usage of the Sun Crystal, yet so improbable. All right, my men may go, but you'll have to see me with your own eyes. And it was Thalandris the whole time, or something retarded. Is that a trick? Of course it is. He is trapped, therefore he's more dangerous. All right, conspirator, let your men go. We will meet you. Okay, then. All personnel, evacuate the project. Our participation in the Starnet research to create droids is over. Since when the first deal was made with Crassius, you are no longer to the protect belong to the Protectorate. You are free to decide your destiny. Get this music out of here. Nah, just execute these guys. An impressive simulation of honor to the command center now. Oh yeah, it's this doodad. I forgot about that. Nice remove trigger, by the way. Just all the random hunter killers. All right. Your people were sent to the Twazaya Research Outpost, where they will undergo a fair trial. Now, enemy informant, show us your true face. It is the face of a coward and a fool and a gremlin. I am close to you, pal. Come and find me. Grr, you traitor. Stop your treachery now. What a line. Stop it, Cardine. He is trying to put you out of your senses. My inner sight warns me of treason. <laughs> Stop this about your senses. I shall exit this cursed installation and order demolition at once. Wow, what a retard, dude. I will search these, those storage containers for that traitor. My cloaking field will protect me from any ambush laid behind. Great, now we get to play as Darkwind Howls again. Telepathy, by the way. Dot 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 in telepathy. So be it, Karnika Karashdar. We protect Tough Guy with acid spitters. What does that even mean? That is highly appreciated, Graka. Let me search some storage containers. Wait, you got loaded into a terminal. Um. What? What is happening? Hello? Taking him a while, isn't it? Stress down? Oh my fucking god. Phantom guy, come back, you coward. What did you just call Cardin? What? Calm down, yo. There's the dude back. I'm gonna have an aneurysm, dude. Well? Nothing but marine suits, droid components, food refrigerators, and one dismounted siege tank. Their commander must be hidden somewhere else. What a cutscene this is. Your friend is correct, Cardine. Come and get me. Shut up. Grr, I hate such dissimulation. Simulation. You will be cut by this predator's blades in so many pieces that not even your master will. What? Starnet Crusher with 9999 shields, by the way. What happened, Praetor? Where is your courage gone? Come and slaughter me with your pitiful blades. That sounds like a sex act. De some experimental Starnet Reaver robot developed by this insane project of their cult, Greca. Perhaps your hunter killers can melt it to annihilation with their acid bursts. Get on to it. What a what a line. Perhaps you you <laughs> Perhaps your hunter killers can melt it to annihilation. 
Yes, yes, come and try, try, Roach Scum. I look forward to frying all your snakes. Dude, this guy's a fucking cringe. Destroy the Starnet Crusher. At least one hunter killer must survive. Why? Okay. Oh! We just only have this, apparently. Well, he only has two, so... It's almost dead. Oh yeah, good joke. What the fuck am I supposed to do about this one? What the fuck? Well, I, he's just gonna teleport again at this point, so what is it? What is even the point? Nice triggers. How much? Oh my god, he has 9999 HP too! Why? Why does this thing exist? Gameplay, by the way. Yeah. Go dud yourself, dude. I'm not fighting you in that one. That's a joke. I guess, theoretically, he could teleport over here. So. Oh, he teleported somewhere else? Well, now he's down here? Kill him? Yeah, I think we got him. Oh, finally. Oh my god. Now, do you repent your stupid opposition, pal? Hmm, how about we forget our past and you let me go? Dude, this is a cartoon character. Get him out of my fucking game. Get this entire map out of existence. Come on, I'm sure we could discuss this as civilized people, can't we? I can give you the secrets of Marudun's whereabouts. Shut up, Siameter. After your great display of trust, we are better without it. Alright, I'll step outside then. Holy overlords, it's Mr. Food himself. What? Surprised? Bah, I'm more surprised that you're tossed superior and I couldn't figure out my true ID earlier. Wow, what a twist. But, but, but. Why? There's an old saying amongst us Terran that it says it's all for the money. Not really applicable to all of us, of course. But still valid for me. It was all for the money and power. So 
So, all your betrayal was caused by a mere promise of power. Sure thing, yeah. When Marudun and Klazarek found me in the Dark Underground, I was busy scouring the area for the Sun Crystal. I had established a base there a few hours earlier, since the units under my command led Crassius' followers to the Hawk's Palace. What a dumb twist. Where he infiltrated the palace and became emperor. Yep, well, when Klazarek destroyed the prototype advanced Goliath, I was given orders to surrender and spy on them in order to achieve my goals to find the Sun Crystal. <laughs> it is exposition. But you fought thoroughly against those followers of Metrodites and against the Zerg. How come? Those were my orders, even if I had to kill my buddies to acquire it, and I did so often. But Crassius would be able to revive any of us with his dazzling sun crystal. Including himself, lol! With what? Dragoon technology? Does not fit. No, with the core machine, the device that activates the crystal. That's right. What a stup- As I suspected, the core machine's energies, which will be unleashed by the Cataclysm, are not even enough- Not enough even to revive a person, to resurrect the signature of an specific mind and a chosen corpse. Are, are- they are enough, I misread that. And these are the minds of the cult's leaders. Quite accurate, but know that all that you learnt was the will of the Merciful One. The master who ordered me to summon reinforcements when that hive mind was going to be slain. The master who ordered me to even move against Crassius, as death is only a stage, not the end. What a disaster. Yes, with Crassius' passing, you and this merciful one were free to steal the crystal from Klazarek. You've betrayed your homeworld and your allies. We trusted you. Why is the... Move it along. I'm not gonna be here all day. Sorry, that's the way one has to walk to grow rich. When the Merciful One provokes the massive energies of the Cataclysm, I'll be resurrected by the Core Machine and be a wealthy man, that's all. Like, you you have to be a real idiot to believe that this is actually going to happen. Like, in the same breath as saying, death doesn't matter, he's also saying, money is all that matters. Which is so fucking asinine. Your plan sounds ridiculous, foolish individual. You claim to be smarter than us, yet you overestimate your master's mercy. Terrans are nothing but the link to the si technology of psionic research on lesser bodies, on their mind curtain subject. Once the technology of commanding Psy on non-sentient bodies is dominated by the cult, you emotions will be Kakaroo's snack. Kakaroo? More like Karak. Dut, dut, dut. Huh, quite a trippy theory, man. <laughs> After the Starnet project is connected to the core machine, do you seriously think that Mitrodites and Klazarak, who hold a profound hatred for Terrans, will allow your brethren to live? Like, how has this not occurred to him? Dot, dot, dot. My, but, but. He's actually. Perhaps it was you who was used all along, friend. I... I can't let this happen to my people. Dude, you just said you didn't give a shit. Oh, you can, Hayes. Crassius may have earned the loyalty of your scum. With Psy, telepathy, or promises, doesn't matter. You're all dead. Every single one who adhered... Adhered to his blasphemy. Adhered. Udir. Nadir. Graka. You always wanted to eat this, Terran. Go ahead. Yay. No! No! Ah! Role play, by the way. Eats food. Eats Mr. Food. What a fitting end. <laughs> That's the end of this fiend. How many times did that... Epic music loop, by the way. Let us leave this facility, then. I will issue orders to raise it as soon as all useful data is extracted.
Okay, bye. Mongoloid idiots. How long have I... Oh my goodness. What a disaster.